As the bells tolled, we stepped out of the cold and into the warmth of Holy Mother of the Rosary Cathedral and talked with Bishop Poplowski about the history of the cathedral. This parish here was organized in 1895. Its original uh, building was on the corner of Sobieski and Sycamore Street on the east side, which was predominantly a Polish neighborhood at that time. And we said that we have this land that part of it's designated for a cemetery. We would build the church here. The woodwork done here was done, carved by a priest of our church, uh, Father Walter Made. And he's been working on this artwork since 1993, 94. Every sculpture that I finished is my favorite. And almost this is like, uh, like your own baby that was born. And uh, no baby is favorite. Every, every baby is favorite. But this place is something very special here, Cathedral in Buffalo. Last big project was the uh, altar honoring the 20 mysteries of the rosary and uh, it took him three years to complete that. Well the Holy Mother of the Rosary sculpture was uh, I would say that this is the, a miracle work. Miracle uh, happening there was I started um, in 2002 and then it happened that in 2003, I realized that, uh, that I have a cancer. Mm -hmm. So I thought that I can not finish that. And I said, well, that's okay. If it's God's will, that would be, you know, every artist left behind some unfinished things, so I have to leave as well. But God gave me that second chance, and I am still here. And. Uh, when I came to my strength, I started to work, and believe me, there was the work of, of love, and, and I wanted to, uh, to express that uh, beautiful gift that God gave to this world. Mm -hmm. Bless Mother Mary. I think that service learning is, is almost the epitome of what Canisius is all about. It's really education and beyond. Community-based learning or service learning reflect very much the mission and identity of Canisius College as a Jesuit Catholic university because there are certain cornerstones that are in the mission and they are the same things that this program is built on. That people become men and women for others. That they care for the individual, care about people. That they be engaged in the community in which they are found. That they always try to do more magis. That there is a concern to create more social justice that the faith that they have, no matter what it is, lead toward justice. I think it's uh, very beneficial for the students they're working with, for the school, for the community, um, and for the college. I think that it helps us maintain our integrity of who we are and who we want to be.